Hey everybody, it's Eric again. Um, I'm not going to crack any jokes in this video. And I, I'm not even going to put a link in the description for my merchandise. Because I think that would be unethical for me to do that. And I don't want to make it seem like I'm trying to profit off of this. Because I'm not. I want to pay my respects. This is not about me. This is about him. <coughs> Jeff Burr, the director of Leatherface, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. I believe he did Pumpkinhead 2. I know he did one of the Pumpkinhead sequels. I'm pretty sure it was 2. Let me know in the comments down below. He did Stepfather 2. So he did a lot of horror movie sequels. <coughs> And, uh, I know he did some other stuff. It's just, it's just not coming to me right now. But regardless, I just now heard of his passing. This really sucks. This really, truly sucks. I don't know what from. Don't ask me. I don't know. Could have been a lot of things, but I'm not just going to guess. Because uh, if I were to guess, that would be extremely disrespectful. And uh, regardless what happened, although I am curious what happened, but regardless, this really sucks. I remember uh, getting the... Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 on DVD at, at a pawn shop when I was a freshman in high school because uh, that was the only place uh, before I turned legal age where I could get R-rated movies because the pawn shop doesn't care and I remember watching that movie a lot when I was a freshman and uh I remember on that DVD, I watched the behind the scenes making of. <clears throat> and I remember, I thought that he seemed like a very nice guy. He seemed very professional. And uh, I always wanted to chat with him ever since then. And, uh, you know, this is a testament that if you want to do something, do it now. Because, you know, never know when your last chance Tomorrow's never promised. The same thing with Rico Browning, who played uh, the Gill Man. I believe the underwater scenes in the Creature from the Black Lagoon movies wanted to talk to him for the longest time. But then early this year, I believe, he passed away. So, And even Carla Lemley... Uh, who had a very small part in the Bela, in the Bela Lugosi Dracula, wanted to talk to her for the, for the longest time. Then she passed away at, I believe, 103 or 4, around there. But regardless, she made it past her hundreds, and that's impressive. So now I'm getting off topic. So now... Jeff Burr is another celebrity who I wanted to talk to, but I missed out on my chance. This is why I'm reaching out to as many celebrities as I possibly can, because it sucks feeling like, oh man, I wish I would have contacted them before their time. <clears throat> and that applies not just on a professional level, but on a personal level as well. That, hey, our loved ones aren't going to be here forever. So make the best as much time with them as you possibly can. Because they won't be here forever. So uh, just want to give my condolences to his friends and family. And all of his loved ones this really sucks 
I'm sorry for everyone who's grieving about Jeff Burr. <clears throat> this really sucks. And I'm deeply sorry. So, uh, that's all I got. Thank you all for watching. May he rest in peace.